This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I'm going to show you all my messages. No, I'm just joking. Tonight we're in Zyklop. Staying away from artillery tonight because every match that I had in artillery was mediocre at best. I had some decent matches where I broke 3500 but you know 3500k games didn't really you know 3500k yeah 3500k games I'm pretty sure that would be YouTube worthy. 3500 damage games just aren't enough to make my YouTube channel for, from an artist perspective. Uh, generally speaking, I like to have a minimum 4,000, and it just wasn't happening tonight. I had a lot of rough teams. There were several several teams where only two or three of us broke a 1,000 damage, and you just can't win. But it is what it is. You can't go back and change it now. So uh, we're in Zyklops. We're on uh, Kasserine, and we're going to go right. Normally, I don't go right on this map because it's usually a death trap, and with all those mediums, you would think they would be over here. But... Peasy's in his bat chat, and he's going to go crazy and go all the way over to the right side. And he's going to go really far forward. But being in a highly mobile medium tank, you have, you know, you can be afforded to do some of those things, as long as you're not stupid and getting yourself killed. Um, I tend to get myself into trouble when I do that, so I tend to hang back and wait for the right moment. As you can see, I've got a Jag Panther 2 hiding behind me here try to push me at first, but he's not fully upgraded. He's only got the 105 on there. You can tell by the giant muzzle brake. Um, and it's funny, because if you look at the 105 and then look at the 128, the 128 looks smaller, like, diameter-wise than the 105 does. Um, <laughs> so, just a little thing to note about the Jack Panther 2. It's going to drive you nuts the next time you look at it. You'll be like, Squirt was right. I know. Sometimes I get that way once in a while. Uh, but we're going to have a couple Death Stars over here, and those are always trouble. Um, but, you know, as long as you, as long as you take your time, and you pay attention, and you pray that they shoot somebody else, <laughs> you can, you can mess up a Death Star. Especially in a Jag, where you can hit them for over a thousand every single time, and then, you know, that's over half their health, and then you just ram them. <laughs> Is that a precursor to what's about to happen? I'll let you be the judge. So, the very first tank we're going to get to shoot is, in fact, a Death Star. And you'll see what I mean, what I mean in a moment. Now, we've got the Brit Clan, or BRTT. Uh, they're, on, they're on the other side. They're in one of the Death Stars, and then you see the E-100 right there. And here's one of the Death Stars right below me, who has just fired and absolutely annihilated a T-69. So, hello, there's almost a thousand damage. He takes a ram, and then he ain't taking this one. <laughs> That's a lot of meat coming down the hill. <laughs> 400 and some damage from a ram. And of course, I get touched one time, immediately kills my loader, because why not? And it's a Conway. And this Conway is going to get a little bit of a lucky runaway here. I get loaded, I get the shot, and he immediately darts off to the right side. Unfortunate, but you know, it's a thing. I've stayed spotted for the entire match. Now we have an E100 trying to come up and get revenge for me ramming his uh, teammate to death. So we'll just see how this goes for him. Now, generally speaking, I would load heat the moment I see a death star, or see an E100, because this thing doesn't have the standard pin to go through its turret, which is what I need to do. But I thought I could come down and get a good shot into the side of his turret here. Unfortunately, we bounce off the side too. I thought he was going to keep looking at the other guy. Now watch what I'm about to do. At this angle, I know what he's trying to do. He's going to try to pin my cheeks on the superstructure. But at that angle, he should not have been able to pin. Like he's at a negative angle. He doesn't even have the gun depression to get the gun flat. And he still pinned, which means A, he's shooting heat. And I'm going to repay the favor. <laughs> there we go put one through his cheek. He put one through my, my cheek, I put one through his. Generally speaking, mine's going to sting a little more. But that's it's just frustrating to me because this tank used to not have to worry about superstructure pins. But, you know, 
until Wargaming decides that they should give me my armor back, uh, that's not going to happen. So, I got to get used to it. People are going to pin. Look at this. Object 704. Guaranteed pin. Shot out. 1100 damage. I angle as hard as I can. And he pins me through my track and into the bottom of my tank. Now, come on. I gotta have a little bit of a break once in a while, right? I need some. A little bit. But unfortunately, not to be had. Got two kills. We're moving up. We don't have a whole lot of health. Still a few tanks left. This is still anybody's bowl game. If a few of us go up here, make a stupid move, and get ourselves killed, this game is over. So we gotta be careful, but at the same time, aggressive. PZ's gonna be a little too aggressive for his own good here. He's, he's like, I'm going to chase this TVP. I'm like, you better be careful. He's like, I was like, that TVP can clip you out just as much as you can clip him. And also, the TVP's got backup. <laughs> he's got lots of backup. And PZ is just getting absolutely torn apart by tank destroyers and then that TVP. So uh, he makes the wise decision to get out of dodge. I think he does kill the... Uh, Conway or the Jag. Nope. Jag Tiger's down. T28 Prot's over here. AT-15's over here. Look at my ammo, guys. Can you tell what I forgot to do? Now on the uh, T28 Prot, it's not a problem. I can shoot straight through the front of them, but I completely forget to swap out over to my normal armor piercing round. And on my next shot that I take, it's gonna backfire hard. So instead of having a, you know, a almost 5,000 damage game, I'm going to come up a little bit short. But watch what I mean. AT-15, tier 8, <laughs> tier 8 tank. And in this case, if I'd have known I was firing heat, I would have shot straight through the front of him, but I try to shoot into the side of him, and because I'm firing heat like a doofus, I only track him and do no damage whatsoever, which allows Peasy to come in with his bat chat and try to take my kill... <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, Peasy. Go away. And I get tracked. And then I pull forward. I got 300 health. He hits me. Come on. Just get loaded. Shout out. 276. And Peasy's like, why would you do that? Why would you do that, Spartan? I almost had a top gun. Oh, well, I apologize. But that was my kill. 3,972 damage. 1,000 block. Four kills. He had, what, five kills? I couldn't see. No, it, was, it wasn't it was his Top Gun. It was, uh, he. we almost had a brothers in arms. So if I would have let him have that, we'd have both had three. But six kills between the two of us. 6,600 damage. Peasy, calm yourself. Good Lord. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.